All right, so we've got a few things that need some attention uh, from the past uh, few shows. And so we're going to be working on fixing some things and maybe uh, cleaning some stuff up, sprucing things back up where it should be. Alright, so some of the things we're going to do, and uh, let me see if I can get a good shot of this, uh, is uh, we need to touch up these cabinets. Stuff like this needs to be touched up, and when you're doing corporate stuff, um, or really if you want to represent yourself well, you can't have stuff like this floating around, so this just doesn't look very good. You know, we've got scuffs over here, over here. Uh, Bottom cabinet here on the edge, you got some scuffs. These cabinets aren't too bad, but still, they need to be cleaned up and dressed up, um, especially to uh, present a uh, professional image. So we're not going to paint the whole thing. We're just going to sort of touch it up and then flare it out from there. And let's see here. I think this is yeah. cover that as well. Just a little bit. All right. Let's see. There we go. All right. I think that'll work. Now, yeah, on the camera, it does show up a bit shiny. Uh, but when it dries, uh, it should dry a lot darker than what it is. So we're going to go through and uh, fix a lot of these, uh, these scuff marks. Also, part of the trick here is I've got a very, very light amount of uh, the, uh, paint in it. I don't want to glob it on there. I just want to make sure that the uh, scuff marks get covered, so you don't need a lot of paint on it. All right, and the trick here is sort of when it's uh, in the process of when it's drying, uh, if you want to let it sit maybe 10 minutes or so, is just come back over it just lightly with the same brush. When you pull it over it, it should sort of dull up the paint and add, um, the bristle should add a little bit of texture to it. Um, it's not going to match completely to how the cabinet is, but it should probably make the, make the paint hide a lot better. All right, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, certainly not trying to make these things look new, but uh, mostly what, what I was after was making sure that uh, anything that really stood out was taken care of, because uh, those usually draw attention to people. All right, so the areas that were across the top of it, uh, there were some that were over here. Um, there was a big, I don't want to say a gouge, but certainly a, um, a big scuff up here. You can sort of see a little bit on the camera where 
uh, where it's been touched up. But um, anyway, the stuff is drying and obviously I uh, don't ha have any use for the uh, cabinets here in the immediate future, so they'll have plenty of time to dry. All right, we're replacing uh, the tape on the cables from the job we just did recently. And once again, we are using board tape on here. Uh, I know some people use electrical tape, uh, which is uh, probably okay, but the uh, glue that's on it, uh, especially during the uh, heat, like for, for example, in the summertime, but the glue can um, start uh, coming off and then really gumming up the connectors. So we, uh, we do what we can to stay away from uh, electrical tape for, um, for taping. All right, so we just got um, a few others to do here. So RCF has done the right thing on this. They've, they've countersunk uh, the controls and the power. Um, so as you run it over something, let's say you run the, uh, the cabinet like over an edge, maybe the edge of a stage, a lot of this stuff is protected. Now, just recently, uh, we did a show where it was outdoors and uh, we were moving the sub across the ground, but then it occurred to me that uh, what if there was a stick or something on the ground sticking up, or what if the grass, let's say, was taller, uh, let's say, than these casters, maybe, you know, five inches of grass, something like that. Potentially, something could wind up either poking the controls or something happening down here in the uh, power area. So it got me thinking about um, maybe making a uh, just a small cover uh, to fit over this, so making something for transport, especially when we're transporting this over the ground. Now, it doesn't need to be anything um, like as solid as this, but we want something that can take a hit. Now, obviously, you wouldn't be dragging this through, you know, 12 inch high of grass. Uh, you're not going to be dragging this thing over rocks or anything like that. Um, you know, if you have to do something like that, obviously you probably put it on a two-wheeler or put it on something else to keep it way off the ground. But the cover is just going to provide uh, maybe you, like a first layer or level of protection just in case something happens. All right, I made a little template so you can see how this is going to work. And the idea here is um, there's still going to be a slight opening at the top and a slight opening at the bottom to get the airflow through there. But basically, this is what it's going to be. And I don't want to use anything too thick on it because the casters need to be able to move. But also, uh, something uh, to consider was um, we didn't have to worry about it on this last event, but uh, if the grass was a little taller, there was a lot of condensation on the ground. And if we were to have rolled this across the ground, we could potentially have gotten condensation of water from the grass on the bottom of the unit. So this will hopefully take care of all of our problems. There's a joke there. So anyway, let's get to work on it.
down the sides here, uh, on this side here as well, I'm going to have some just some Velcro points, uh, just like that, and then on the piece of wood as well. But uh, I am going to paint this, paint it black, and I'm going to stick the Velcro on it, and then that's just going to become uh, the cover. good. Looks like it fits, so let's get some Velcro on there. So this, uh, piece of wood here that I'm using for this really doesn't weigh anything and me putting four corners here of velcro on here uh, maybe overkill for it but uh, it's probably good to have some redundancy built into it into the cover you know you never know in case something happens Keep the uh, top of it near the top, top of the Velcro that is. And let's see here. Just a slight little touch in here, not even really a millimeter. Over here's just a slight grazing. All right, it looks like that's going to be it. Comes off of there real good. All right, I think that'll work. All right, so in one of the past videos I did, um, I showed making this. Uh, this is a cover that fits over the uh, RCF um, 804 speaker that we have, the powered sub. And this edge right here. Now I had a, when this cover is sitting on the sub, there's a lot of weight on it. We'll go to pull the weight off of it. And the bumpers for the most part have been working. The glue did not fail. Uh, the bumper, a little piece of wood that went down the side, that's what failed. And... If we look at this other side over here, the, um, it has, it's sort of the same thing. It's starting to split apart. I'm going to um, put uh, just a few nails uh, running down the side of this to go all the way through the wood. So I'm going to use these longer ones here, and then what I'll do is I'll end up, um, as it goes through the wood, I'll end up uh, just cutting off the bottom part of it. The more metal I have in the wood, and also in the bumper, the more lateral force it can handle. All right, let's give this a try. I don't want to put a whole bunch of nails through here. It's just a few, uh, maybe four or five.
Damn. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work. As I said when I uh, originally uh, did the video when I was making this, that uh, if the bumper things didn't work out as well as uh, I was hoping that they would, whoop, I'm sorry, here we go. If these bumpers didn't work out, worst case scenario is I would just take them off and put up something else there, which at this point, it looks like uh, I'm going to probably have to do that. I've got some spare uh, solid pieces of wood here. I'm going to, uh, we're going to try this here. Height looks good. That may be too much there, but um, that height there looks good. All right, on this uh, other side here, as you can tell, uh, it's coming up on it. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this. I sort of did this with the other one. It, it did real well until I put a lot of stress on it. So I'm just gonna glue this and then clamp it. This glue is extremely strong. to see how this is going to hold so it's possible maybe under heavy load that this side here I'm looking at is going to split again but that's fine uh, we'll see how it goes and the problem with this side was never the glue it was the uh, the wood it was the ply that was on it so I am putting a um, a solid piece of wood on this. Give this a try. My apologies to all you woodworkers out there that may be watching this. All right. We're going to see how this works out. Uh, so this is a solid piece of wood. All right, we're going to let it dry and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, looks like it's set up good. I'm 
Yeah, certainly not the best. Uh, this requires a, quite a bit more precision than uh, what I can give it. So, all right, let's just see how it uh, fits real quick. This side here is the new side. Call it that. There we go. All right, well. We've got maybe a sixteenth or so of an inch, a little bit more play, but I think that's going to be okay. But uh, really, I, I should have done solid wood for the bumpers instead of uh, using ply. So anyway, um, looks like it's going to work, so take it off, uh, paint it, uh, probably paint this over here to clean it up, and then do some other minor repairs on it. But uh, yep, that should be it. Looks like it's fitting pretty good. All right, I think that's about it. All right, the speaker's dried up pretty good. Now, the lighting here isn't too good, but I think you guys can see here that uh, the, uh, the older paint's dried, and the speakers may not look uh, completely new, but they certainly look, look a lot better than what they did here. None of the big uh, gouges and stuff that are showing up, so. We're pretty close back to um, probably where we should be. All right, thanks for watching.